rock, paper, and scissors. You know them. You love them. They're your favorite hands. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Uh, I, of course, am Brad. You've seen me before, but I'm joined again by Scott and Jace. How you doing, Scott? Hey, everybody. It's me once again. And uh, Jace, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm ready to go. Ready to see some hands go to battle. That's exciting. I know we brought lots of great information, great factoids for this one today. And uh, yesterday's was incredible. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and get that link up. I see that some people have already got access to it. So if you don't know, to join in, you're going to hit exclamation point RPS and you're going to type in a name. Now, there's a couple things I want to make sure you're aware of. You got to make sure you're using a name that we can identify you as if you win. You got to be able to prove that you are the winner. So please try to use either your Twitch name or your Discord name or something I can find you through. Uh, you know, so that we or so that we can get uh, a proof of winnership here. You'll see people are already flooding in. You know, they, you got access to the code, so you're doing what you're supposed to. But for those that are new. We're playing rock, paper, scissors. The idea here is we've taken the in-person experience from Salt Flats, from a lot of the Alberta events uh, where we you know, play rock, paper, scissors in a lineup and eliminate people one by one, or, or I guess half by half, uh, until there's only one person remaining. And now we're doing the exact same thing, but virtually online. And I've got the, the two devs that make the magic happen, Scott and Jace here. Do you want to tell me just a little bit about the game for those who don't already know? Uh, so Scott. Yeah, for sure. So RPS Royale basically is we are trying to make this large event where you can pretty much have any number of people. We, we've actually tested this with, with quite a few hundred people um, in one tournament. Um, try to uh, basically whittle it down to a single winner, you know, with the, the cold, hard competition of rock, paper versus scissors. So, Yeah, and Jace, tell me a little bit about... Um your experiences with rock, paper, scissors, you know, I've, clearly you've played the game once or twice. What, what, are, what are your general feelings on it? <laughs> well, I was thinking about this earlier, you know, like in, in like an anime where you've got like monster of the week, you know, you, you do a, you, there's a fight and it's like one off bad guy takes them out. He's gone. Another one off bad guy shows up and then you get your, your like magical, tournament arc you know the 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 holy grail of probably the whole show that's what rps royale is right so like you're going through your one-off battles throughout your life of like doing rps for like oh who's gonna get the last slice of pizza who's gonna get shotgun in the car today you know or whatever and then the tournament arc rolls around and you got to prove yourself after all these one-off fights throughout your life of RPS. Now you get to step into the plate, see if you can make it to the top. You know, that is a wonderful point. You know, it's kind of like Goku going through the tournament arc series or so many other uh, notable fans. I, I think that's a great comparison. And, and really it is because it's all the people, you know, you get to see the different people that are attending the event, the different people within the event, the different friends you've made along the way. And then you got to tear them down, you know, teach them a thing or two about, you know, what esports really is with rock, paper, scissors. You know, you got to get into their head and show them the better strategies that you've trained over these years of playing you know so many games begin with the rock paper scissors you know to determine sides to determine picks to determine bands and uh and it's very very common for people to train in rock paper scissors before events so once again reminder to everyone if you type exclamation point rps in the chat you will get access to a link that link will give you a um a that link will give you a a a a screen that you type into a user, you type a username into get yourself into the event and make sure you tell your friends your family anyone can play does not matter you're welcome to play but of course we got to talk about what are you playing for um so of course this is capital series 2021 presented by telus but we have sponsors from all sorts of uh, places we have and this time we have garmin bringing in some really awesome esports watches now i'm hoping that one of my mods has the link handy if not i can get it for them but uh, we have two of the instinct esports watch available for the top two placers today now the wonderful thing about these are these are like 420 dollars watches they're incredible garmin makes some really wild wild products they can do a lot of things it's not just a simple watch and uh, uh perfect they've got it in the chat there if you want to check it out please do i welcome you to do so and, uh, and make sure you tell your friends to get uh, get clicked in and join into this bracket. We're going to give it a little bit of time for people to join up. We want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity. If you see your name 
disconnected on the screen, it might mean that you've disconnected in the app. So, you know, always be ready to hit that refresh button to just make sure you are connected. You know, you make sure you've refreshed your browser. You know, you can use Chrome, Firefox, both seem to work really well, but there is other options as well. If you, you know, if you're on mobile or anything like that, you can do so, that is totally fine. But just make sure that you are present because we will be getting going in a couple minutes here. And of course, again, tell everybody, exclamation point RPS, get yourself into that uh, bracket because anyone can win. It does not matter who you are, where you are, I'll, I'll get you figured out as long as I can figure out that you are the one who won. One of the things about those watches too, like I've always looked for an actual gamer watch that'll record your APM, right? Like just get in those intense matches, especially like rock, paper, scissors has an incredible APM with it as well. You get like 30 seconds or so to make a decision. So, okay, maybe not, maybe not the greatest <laughs> APM example here, but you know, <laughs> that heart rate though, the heart rate, imagine getting to the finals in RPS here. Now, everyone here can probably imagine playing in rock, paper, scissors against a sibling, a parent, or like um, Jace was saying, you know, who's paying for pizza tonight, those type of things. But if you have to go through the gauntlet to get to the top of this bracket, you've beaten about six or seven straight matches, which is incredibly difficult in rock, paper, scissors. Well, yeah, the strategies that people bring to the table uh, in that many rounds, you really have to be strictly better than the rest of the competition. You know, you have to really practice, really think quite hard about what you're doing to, to reach that point. And I, and I think that uh, it's very emblematic when you see uh, someone make it to the end consistently. And we have a few killers that do consistently make it far into these brackets. So you can very much see, I mean, right top and center, we got seven of Java, one the winner from yesterday. I mean, clearly uh, ready to try to take a second title. We'll see if they can do it. Um, but I, I mean, these kinds of things, you see people coming in with all sorts of different strategies and you really got to keep trying the, the, the best one you can. I mean, we've seen a paper advantage almost every time we run this, the paper seems to be the favorite. Paper never seems to be the winning hand thrown in the final match. So maybe there's something to be said about the, those people who uh, have been here the, the, the longest time, you know? Uh, and again, our exclamation point RPS for anyone who's still just joining to the stream, get yourself in there. I know uh, some people are here just to be villains. Some people are here to win. Some people are here to just to beat their friend and they're hoping to get farther than them. You know, all of those are very valid ways to go. I think it's awesome. I uh, do want to correct Tin of Salsa in the chat. It is an APM of two if you make two actions in, uh, or one action in 30 seconds. But I guess that's the difference between StarCraft 64 and uh, and StarCraft for the PC. You know, it's a pretty significant change there. <laughs> um, with that said, just a couple more minutes here. We'll get started at, right at 2.15. So we've got two more minutes. Get yourself in the chat. Exclamation point RPS. Uh, make sure you're in this bracket. I'd love to see this crack 100 here. We have enough people. You know, again, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your dog, tell your sister, tell, tell your partner. Get uh, get yourself involved here. Uh, get yourself a chance to win. Yeah, and any of those paper mains that aren't making it that far, um, you know, just just think like our stat yesterday about the origami. You can pick that up and make yourself a trophy. Absolutely, and that's the wonderful thing, right? You you pick up a piece of paper, make yourself a trophy, you know, become better as a person for it, uh, and, and really influence that statistic that you are not more or less likely to be involved in origami. So well, I've again, got thoughts about this whole paper main thing. Like, so if statistically speaking, more people are throwing paper, I think. It's, it's very easy to say like, oh, top tier, paper's top tier, of course, obviously. But I feel like if we read into the data a bit more, get into the psyche of our contestants, of our fighters, like, what does that mean? What does that mean for pe what people think about rock, right? If everybody's throwing paper, what does the collective psyche think about rock? Well, and I'll tell you, I am born and raised Albertan. I've been here my whole life and I can tell you a thing or two about Rock. Rock is a big, big prideful favorite in in-person events. You can see that there is a shift to the online, but Rock is a favorite in in-person events. I've seen people use all sorts of strategies and, and come back to Rock every single time. And I think maybe that's where the online shift is. We're getting more people from outside of Alberta who are showing Rock means that it's not an indomitable force. You know, it may be strong, it may be smart, it may be the best option some of the time, but Rock 
really has its own flaws and weaknesses. You know, I uh, I, I was there in you know the, the early 2000s for the for the Scissors movement in Lethbridge. You know, and it was strong. It was great, but uh, you know, clearly you know in trouble when they come out to Calgary and Edmonton events where Rock is favored. That's a really great point, Brad. Because like the world, you can play RPS all over the world, right? So there's different strategies wherever you go. Yeah. You know, you could want to talk about Rochambeau, traditional Japanese rock, paper, scissors. You know, what's going on over there? Come over to Canada or, you know, the U.S. Like, the strategies are completely different. Hmm. You know, little known fact about rock in this rock, paper, scissors tournament is that if you throw rock, you actually use less bandwidth. So, lag advantage? Well, certainly we know they who act quicker tend to have an advantage in most uh, most games, especially fighting games. So let's see if that's enough. Now it is 2.16. I said I would start at 215. So I am about to hit that start button. If you have not joined in exclamation point RPS, please click that link. You are, your time is running out. I am clicking it right now here. Now, again, anyone who ha is having troubles, make sure you are in that browser. You're connected in. Refresh if you aren't sure if you're connected. It will give you time to do so. So please do. And I'm going to start this round here. Let's get ourselves a best of three. 102 players here today. And we'll just, see how we do. And just a little note on that is if you do see in the top right hand corner, you may see a disconnection message. If you ever see that, just refresh your browser or refresh your client. So you should join right back in where you were at. Yeah, you'll be just fine. I've seen a number of hands flash on and off. That's people hitting that refresh button. But uh, without further ado, you know, it's 216. Let's uh let's let's rock, paper, scissors. Let's see how we do. Good luck, let's everyone. Go. Round one. Now, I know it's been a long, long weekend and a long, long history of rock, paper, scissors. We see hands already being thrown, tracked on screen, you know, lots of papers already thrown out. But I wanna harken back, you know. Let's let's think about yesterday there was so many matches and lots of fallen soldiers. At this point you get your fresh opportunity. Chase, what would you be throwing first in the first round of rock paper scissors? Well, you know, I'm I'm uh, low key running a match right now, and I've been running paper the whole time. Now it didn't do me any good. I got beat. So mm. clearly, this paper game it's complicated. It's I, I want to say it's almost like a a glass cannon strat because you come in hard with with paper, but if people are expecting it. They can just come right around with those scissors and take you mm. out, right? Right, right, right. And of course, that is a landslide style strategy. I mean, I've seen so many players go in with, um, you know, uh, r really not a lot of thought about what they go for. They use the random number generator. They use, you know, those opportunities to just throw whatever comes to mind and really don't think about their options. But we can see players that have been around time and time again, players like Keo Kitten that are constantly in the top echelon, you know, we know their strategy is not random. We've seen them. It couldn't be, you know. So you really have to think about what 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 comes into those matches. What really is at the mind of those top level players. As you can see, we've got uh, Bean Tino versus Me Not First still locked one zero. Jazz Fishes and Oh No still locked one zero. Mm, we're seeing Zane, a uh, little smash, Victor from yesterday winning his first round here. Absolutely. And again, great competitors will repeat themselves through many, many, many forms. So this is just one example of a competitor being, you know, fantastic at one, but not only one um, of the esports. Got me not first over Bean, Bean Tino. And let's just see what we've got for the rest of the field here. We've got Amber and TJB locked. Amber just squeaks it out. We have Sakura Bean and Caramel Cat, Honkers, Tricks all over. And round one has just completed. You'll see that we've gone from we down to the half of the competitors that we just had. It happens just like that. Unbelievable. So fast. It's a blink of an eye. Yes, <laughs> and I see sophisticated lettuce there. It is signal elimination. So this is a very cutthroat competition. Oh, this is only for the most hardcore practiced veterans. You know, the kind of, kind of material that we really only see at the top. Now, the question is, at this point, what do you think is the most thrown hand? We've seen paper consistently being the winning choice here. Do you think that's still going to reign true? You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet on scissors. 
I'm just going for the underdog. Saw a big scissors turn, yeah. Yeah. If, and we think it might carry through. Let's find out. You know, scissors a little bit higher, but paper still the predominant choice and the predominant winner. You'll notice that 93 rocks and 95 scissors thrown, but 24% win rate for rock. Rock is just really struggling this time. You know, if I was a rock main, I'd be I'd be crying. I'd be in the corner wondering what my next choice is. I'm not practiced in paper. How am I supposed to make this swap? Brad, you are a rock main. Well, it's a wonderful thing I don't enter these events, you know? Um, I, I do think it's it's a, it's it's a bit of a bias for me to enter as I am usually the one collecting all the data at the end of the day. I do know what everyone throws. I always elect not to, um, but yes, it is true. I am a rock main, uh, and you may see me throw rock from time to time if you ever play rock, paper, scissors with me. But I suppose without further ado, we may as well get ourselves into the next round. Another best of three here. Good luck to all of our competitors. We see a lot of, you know, a lot of names that we recognize from these events as well. You know, Nullix, Pinky Pat, you know, Pokemon players. We got uh, Andrew, one of our production team. We've got Artful Hobbs, and that's a big Rivals player, big F Zero streamer. We got Batman Hat, one of our commentators. You know, everybody shows up oh, for Clock these. Clockpip taking the first kill in this round. Uh, Ooh, and Nullix. Isbenes DX was a clean 2-0. Like, two throws, two two wins there. Wow, fast. very fast. Oh, and Tin of Salsa. We just saw them on the stream a moment ago. And we've got Naotis over Link. Let's see, Naotis, a, a, another one of our returning champions. See if we can get uh, a, a return win out of Naotis here. Hmm. Feedy taking over Caramel Cat. Enkai and Ace locked 1-1. One, one. Very close match here. Let's examine a little further. Notice and Link locked 1-1 one, one as well. Very tight round. Does Link have what it takes to take out a reigning champion, Naotis? You can just see the gears turning in, the, in those hands when they sit still. You, you just know. Yeah, and they have a 20-second timer, so they are welcome to use the maximum amount of that time. You know, really, really maximizing the gameplay, thinking it out, not making any rash decisions. And Link takes out Nyotis Enkai over Ace. Well, would you look at now all eyes on Link for potentially being one of the top competitors in this uh, in this bracket. Hey, good job, Sakura Bean. You nailed it this time. Last time you got out a little early, but uh, you're, you're coming through this time. Already top 24 for Sakura Bean. That incredible, incredible showing so far. And you can see we can fit them all on screen now. It happens that fast. Our vast graveyard as we look through our fallen compatriots of people who did not make it through already. So if you're in this top 24, you should be proud of yourself for, for getting you know this far in. You know, it's it's such a different environment when you're playing online here when you can't like look at your opponent in the eye and actually see their tells or anything like you are completely going off of your instincts here and the, and the patterns of, patterns of your competitor just... yeah you can't you know you, you look at the name and you're really not sure if this person watches anime or not so you can't necessarily play a mind game that is based on asking them so i, I think that it's very difficult now let's see a huge bump up in rock win rate after this round, uh, despite being a, a you know a, a under underhanded pick in the first round. Clearly, uh, rock's value has shot up, stealing points directly from paper. I mean, up to 29 from 24 after 591 hands thrown. That is uh, that is incredible, you know. And I think. Uh, as we get into this round of 24, who are the favorites? I mean, we've seen Zane, a top competitor. Plat Plat has been around since the dawn of time as a rock, paper, scissors player. Keo Kitten, a returning champion. Sakura Bean, obviously playing quite well compared to uh, compared to uh, yesterday. And and Little Marvel, another top player. Plue, another top player. We got people from all sorts of different games and backgrounds here, really showing like you know, is the FGC strongest at rock, paper, scissors, or is it more of a Smash Bros thing? Or Maybe a, a puzzle gamer is best at those things. You know, who's really on top? This is the best way to compare, you know, your esports versus others in a very fair way. I mean, if you win at rock, paper, scissors, it's just true. Your game is better. There's no debate about it. With that, let's get into round three. Round th It's only round three and there's already so few people. It happened so fast. You, you know, it harkens back. 
it, it harkens back. I really think about the the history of rock paper scissors as these players go on. You know, they're thinking about their picks. You think back to you know the 1600s when they used rock paper scissors to decide combat execution. You know, I, and they would go into the coliseums and you'd see competitors throwing rock paper and scissors for weapon choice. You know, and and and, and things like the mace, the spear, and the javelin. And 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 while the javelin was such a very popular pick, you know, oftentimes mace was the one that you know reigned supreme. And those kinds of things are really what you should be thinking about now: is is your rock a mace, or should you be picking javelin? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, we've already seen a lot of matches happen. We got Plat Plat and Bizanox tied. We got NK and Zane tied. Plat Plat down. Showtime took out Sakura Bean. Little Marvel ahead. Round three Dang, over. I didn't even have time for the match. full story. Wow, that was fast. Fast so round. So incredible. So so incredible. Complete you know, blitz. I, I um, it's yeah, it, it's it's very fast. We still see Link, Andrew. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 pull the round together a little bit, and we'll be able to see a bit more of what's going on. So we've got ourselves our top 12 batman hat me for a super popular andrew little marvel zane and bizanox link zeller showtime clockpip and keo kitten i mean naturally i think the eyes would be glued tightest to the competitors that have been at the top before i mean we've seen keo kitten up there link took out naotis zane i i really do think that i would um I would want to see the top competitors, you know, push through. I, I'm, I'm very interested to see uh, the, the, what, you know, has Clockpip studied Keo Kitten's strategy from the previous games? It, if so, it may pay off. If not, it'll be very apparent when, you know, Keo Kitten runs them over here. Now we'll take one quick peek at the stats again here, as we've got 31, 31, and 37. So paper does go up just a little bit, but you see the field evening out a little bit now. You know, we're, we're at 668 hands thrown. We've got 29 ties for rock, 39 ties for paper, and 22 ties for scissors. Even though scissors, you know, is 31% win rate, only thrown 167 times. I really am interested in seeing, you know, the scissors meta come out here. And this is where I would be starting to question, is scissors going to be... Um, is scissors going to be the the pick of the day here? I, I would think so personally. The thing about scissors is I I feel like it's like you know the one firm quick katana strike where, you know you don't you don't just bring out scissors for funsies you bring it out to end the match. Yeah, well, absolutely, right. Sc scissors is swift and and decisive. You know, I guess in a best of three scenario, you really got to think about um waiting to use your hand at the best time, um, which I suppose now is that time. Let's take a look into this next round, round four. You know, I'm seeing here that Batman hat, he was in third place yesterday. Absolutely, Batman hat. Incredible yeah. commentator and incredible player. All, almost note, almost definitely wearing a Batman hat. <laughs> uh, that actually, uh, Batman hat got knocked out in the uh, three-way match yesterday. So we'll, I, I don't know if we'll be able to see that today based off how many players we have. It kind of depends on how many players we get, but we, we may see that depending Very on possible. how this goes. And I, I see Clockpip 1-0 one, one over Keo Kid and 2-0 over Keo Kid and Clockpip. Oh, Clockpip, my, my boy, go get him. And you'll notice that Scissors was thrown and was not strong enough, you know? Zillow, remember, always, always remember if you have not picked that you want to make sure you're restarting your game. If you're disconnecting, you want to make sure. I, uh, I, you see, we got Zane and Little Marvel. Batman hat over me first. Zane and Little Marvel, all eyes on you. What is the pick? Paper ties. Again, in boosting that paper stat. Just throwing paper saying, hey, we want to mess with the numbers. Let's just keep throwing paper for a few rounds. Really influence the decisions because they can control that kind of information when you're at that level of play. Again, more papers. See, they're just inflating the numbers so that their competitors later on in the bracket won't know what they pick. We see Zane and Little Marvel locked dead on. Who's going to give up the paper trend? And it is Little Marvel giving up the paper trend and losing for it. You know, you got to stick to the best plays you can, and Zane knows the best plays. In this case, it was paper. Now, after four rounds, we are down to six competitors. 
Let's make it a little more interesting. We're going to throw it to a best of five for these six competitors. You are top six at this point. You can almost taste the prizing, you know? You're thinking about, hmm, you know, I, I really did need a new watch. And that eSports watch would be really nice. You know, I have no idea what my heart rate is right now, but God, is it beating. And I think that having that watch to record it would be just a very interesting piece of information, as well as all of the other things that comes with it. You can almost taste it, you know? And and, and Scott, I got to ask you, like, last time you tasted a watch, what did it taste like? Uh, the caramel. The caramel. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I believe that may have been a candy watch, um, but you know, I and I cannot promise the Garmin watches will taste like caramel. But what I can promise is they'll taste like success to at least two competitors today. Ah, uh, that's a way better answer. <laughs> well, of course, certainly. Why wouldn't they? Um, and uh, you know what? Let's get ourselves on the road here. You know, I want to see what happens with these matches. So we've got Clock Pip and Showtime, Zane and Batman Hat, Link and Andaru. You know, a lot of familiar names. Batman Hat, quick 1-0 over Zane. Clock Pip, quick 1-0 over Showtime. We've seen two paper wins already. If we're going to see a third, and we do link over Andrew. Paper seems Batman to be dominating this round so far. From, from coming in this far in a second tournament this weekend and just cleaning the house. Oh, he's taking a hit there, though. Batman Ooh. Hat, not infallible as we saw yesterday. I mean, we know that Batman Hat can lose, but Batman Hat clearly showing that there's a reason why we're seeing that name again as they take the first round in the top six. With Clock oh and Showtime Lock 2 2. Andrew is one over Link. Batman Hat, ledge, ledge block and Zane. Taking him 3 1. Ooh, and Zane ledge and Andrew 2 2. 2 2 on both sides. Who's it going to be? Clock Pip and Showtime. Link and Andrew tied with paper. Both matches. It's 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 gonna be scissors. This is the time for scissors. We're gonna cycle. see it. We're gonna see it right now. Scissors is gonna clean up. I know it. I just know on one side. Oh, oh both man, competitors are afraid games. of rocks. They're listening. They know that scissors is gonna be the decisive hand here. They don't want to lose to it. They really don't want to be the one who lost to the scissors here. Another rock. Who's it gonna be? Oh my god, back to back to back game fives here. Oh, oh my scissors god, scissors over oh. paper with showtime and clock pip, clock pip moving on. And we have Link taking over Andrew with a paper. Again, scissors would have been the victor here. But uh, you know what? It was a wonderful showing to our top six, and we are down to three competitors. Now, we had this yesterday. It seems to happen time and time again. And you have to ask yourself, what happens? in rock paper scissors when there's only three competitors how do you play that well it's simple you just have them all play at once you're going to get yourself a rock paper scissors triangle and you're going to all throw hands until there is a clear set of two winners now there's two winners for the prizes so of course we can't have it unfair with the bot we need to see this happen now batman hat was here yesterday so is familiar with the rules but for clock pip and link what you're going to do is you're going to throw rock, paper, or scissors like normal. However, you'll only move on if someone else picks the same hand as you and you both win over the third hand. So two rocks would be the scissors, two papers would be the rock, and two scissors would be the paper. However, one paper does not beat two rocks. It is not strong enough on its own. So we've got now ourselves... Now, before we get into this, I feel like we should get to know our last three fighters here. I know for a fact Clock Pip is a avid powerful little hellions player on my game dev streams so he, i know that clock Pip hardcore knows the mind games batman batman hat coming in very hard and fast from uh yesterday and making it basically to where they made it on both days so batman hat very consistent fighter um scott scott you got any thought on links brad i you know i know that link is the most searched player of all time, uh, at least within <laughs> our circle. Uh, Link is an incredible player that many people often look up. Uh, you know, tons of fan art about their plays, tons of, you know, they've even made stories about Link uh, and then what they've, you know, what they've done and what they've succeeded with. So I really am interested in knowing if Link's notoriety is going to carry them through versus Batman Hat's statistic analysis and Clock Pip's grasp of having a good time. <laughs> no. I know uh, Link's part of a chain. Link is a part of a chain. Now I want to harken back. Now we're gonna we're gonna delay this just a little bit. I want to tell you if we're looking back to 
the Guinness Book of World Records. Now, in 2014, the largest rock, paper, scissors tournament was 2,950 people, which is a small number. You know, when you think about rock, paper, scissors, we're not that far away from it. You know, and that was completed at Gen Con in 2014 in Indianapolis on August 17th of 2004. Now, I'll tell you, the winning hand, the winning hand for that game was scissors. Now, we've talked about this all day today. Scissors seems to be the crushing choice. But with players knowing that, I'm sure all three of these players have seen that event. I mean, clearly, they're in the top three of Capsule Series 2021 Day 2 RPS Royale. You would have seen that match. There's no way you wouldn't have seen that match. So I would think that they know Scissors is going to be a popular pick here. I, I would wonder, if, have they looked at those those numbers? Have they really thought about what they're throwing here? And with that, I'd love to see what they pick. Are you ready? This is for the prize. If you get past this round, Batman hat, Link, and Clock Pip, whoever does will be in the money. You will be able to screen cap your game, send me the proof that you are a winner and get a prize sent directly to you from us. And if you are the loser, you will get nothing, absolutely nothing. So really think about what you're picking here going into this round and let's begin. No pressure or anything. Absolutely full pressure. This is the most important <laughs> thing you've ever done. You have an audience of people watching to see what happens. I cannot stress enough that you you want to be making the best pick you possibly can here. And Paper was a clear favorite. Now, dominating. I'm, I'm telling you, Scissors seems that Scissors has been the the statistical, the historical winner of many of these events. I'm wondering if Paper is going to be strong enough here. Three three handshakes start off. Yeah, three hand. Yeah, yeah. Just a just a high five all around. Got no. Now, I, can Batman Hat overcome yesterday's disgrace, or is Batman Hat learned from those options and you know really going to show? And clear enough, two papers yeah, over a yeah, rock. Yes. Wow! Only you know, took for two a fact throws. That Batman doesn't work with a team, but you forget about the Justice League, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Batman I mean, the change. The famous Justice League, of course. And Clockpip, unfortunately, not picking scissors based on this history and throwing that rock out, losing to two dominant paper mains. Yeah, and you know, in an alternate universe here, Batman was actually Ganon. Absolutely, that makes complete sense. Um, we've got ourselves one last look at the stats here. Now, with those extra paper wins, we are at a 38% win rate for paper, 30% for rock, and 31 for scissors. You'll see not a lot of change in scissors because of the lack of use. Not from the lack of winning, but from a lack of use. You can see 180 scissors used, 248 paper, and 225 rock. You know, if I were if I were here with Link and Batman hat, I would be wondering what um, what's the right What's the right pick here? I, I, I can't stress enough. It's clearly scissors. I, I don't even need, I, I you know, I, I can't allude to it anymore. It's just scissors at this point. I don't know what else you would pick. But with that, I yeah. suppose let's do one more history check, one more quick check in. You know, uh, if you look back at some of the historical celebrity poker games, you know, not necessarily known for their extreme competitiveness, but the kind of thing that would be you know, really analyzed and seen by a lot of people. You know, they may not be the number one competitors, but what they are is the most seen. It's kind of like watching the World Series of Poker, where there are poker players who are incredible, who just never get on TV, you know? So you don't necessarily see the plays of some of the greatest of all time unless you actually physically go to an event. And, you know, um, they actually had a celebrity poker showdown host uh, and a referee of the USA Rock, Paper, Scissors, Phil Gordon, uh, host a World Series of Poker. Uh, and that, or sorry, not poker. World Series of Rock Paper Scissors in a, in conjunction with the uh, World Series of Poker. This is something that started back in 2005, um, and usually it's done as a fundraiser for cancer research and prevention, um, and it's something that uh, is really a good cause. But it brings out some of the greatest players uh, and greatest celebrities in the Rock Paper Scissors, where we saw Annie Duke actually win uh, the very first uh, World Series of Rock Paper Scissors. It was taped on ESPN, and you know. And uh, on that first year, I will tell you, the final round best of five was won three scissors in a row. So what I'm tr really trying to sell to you here is that scissors has been dominated in every major broadcast since 
You know, we had two in 2014, 2005. We went back to the 1700s in the Coliseums where Mace beat Javelin. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, but Scissors is clearly going to be the pick here. And I, I, I caution the competitors to, you know, heed that fact. I know they already know, but this is the kind of thing that you really want to see on the big stage. So without further ado. The thing you have to keep in mind, Brad, is that uh, rock is a force of nature, right? Pa paper is dynamic. It's almost fluid. It can be anything. But scissors, that's just two knives taped together. And you just got to keep in mind what that means. Oh, absolutely. Without question. I think that is an incredible point. And I think that we really got to stress that going into this next match. Uh, you know, and I think that uh, we'll see what these competitors have to have to say about it as we uh, as we drop them into the final round. Batman hat versus Link. Who's your money on, Scott? Ah, man, I'm, I'm not a betting man, but, you know, Batman, I don't know. I feel for him. He got to third last time, so I, I think I'm going in his corner here. Absolutely. Got the statistics and, and... behind him, for sure. <laughs> and what a wonderful way to start the round. Let's see if those statistics hold up for Batman Havers. Link paper off the gate for both of them, ready and waiting. You know, clearly just starting off. Let's see another paper. Again, these players known for their paper throws. I'm just saying it's been clear that Scissors is a dominant pick here. And Link, the first one to throw that out. We got to see if, how Batman Hat can adjust to this, uh, this, this moment and change. Rock, great choice. Great choice over Scissors. You can see that adjustment almost instantaneous, taking 1-1 one, oh, one, one to Link. And a paper over Rock. Once again, we've hit all three now which we're back to Scissors. And if you count the matches out, I think Scissors will still be the victory, victor choice here. Oh man, I, went, I, did, I just want to see their hands. Like, are they shaking trying to pick these these choices right now? Well, are they, are they getting gloves on? They gotta be, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, and Paper over Rock 3-1, Batman Hat final match point. Can Link hold on? We'll Link, see what happens here. you gotta bust out the Master Sword here, my guy. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, do you have 27 hearts? If so, you can make this happen. Link, I believe. Go. Just a very, very quick note about the timers. Don't run it too close. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh, Batman hat over Link 4-1. Incredible showing. Batman hat clearly showing that when, you know, given a second opportunity, top competitor without question. We love to see it. Batman hat. Congratulations, Link. Also, congratulations to top two. It is an incredible showing to be in grand finals of Capsule Series RPS Day 2. Now, if you could both do me a favor, screenshot your screen. Let me know. Make sure that you are good to go here. Uh, and I will arrange prizing to both of you. You can DM me on Discord. You can uh, send us a message on Twitch. Whatever needs to be to, just As long as you can prove and confirm that you are the player you say you are, we will be able to award you your prize. And thanks so much for attending. And thanks so much for playing because... Again, congratulations to both of you. You've already won that sweet Garmin Instinct eSports watch, which will be coming your way. Um, and uh, Scott, Jace, what a wonderful showing we had today. You know, I think that we had very deserved competitors, very incredible plays. Um, do you have uh, how many closing thoughts here? Yeah, I like I, I can't, you know, I can't believe the these two competitors. You have to hang both of your heads high, right? Link, definitely Batman for the win. Um, but getting to the finals here, that that is a lot of RPS to win. And just to look down in the bottom right hand corner of this stream, there is one player left out of a hundred and two that joined. Incredible. Yeah, and we can look through the graveyard and really see all the people that were taken out along the way. The sad, sad graveyard of hands. And, uh, and uh, Jace, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, you know, what I'm thinking is, you know, those like post-party blues where you're like, oh man, I had a really great time and now I'm just not doing that thing. It's kind of how it is when RPS goes because it's like, oh, well, when's the next time I can play RPS? Well, the, the, the cool thing about it is every time RPS shows up, it's going to be better than it was the last time because we're still working on it. So we're going to get more graphics, you know, different different effects, more like I don't want to say modes, but you know what I mean. There'll definitely be more features, possibly more data we can collect. So it's only going to get more more exciting with every event that we run. 